Welcome back, and we're going to continue with our sushi lesson. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do a California roll um, inside out. And um, what we're going to do is we need to start off with our standard sushi rice, which we have right here, which is the medium grain rice. I've wet my hands so that when I grab the sushi rice, it doesn't stick to my hands. And then I place it onto the nori, which is placed the textured side up. And what I'm doing is I'm spreading the rice out in a thin layer on the surface of the nori. I'm not pushing down as much as I'm pushing outward. And um, we're going to cover the whole nori sheet but what we're not going to do is we're not going to make it so dense that you can't see the um, nori through the rice. So you want to be able to see the nori through the rice. Just like that. Then what we'll do, once we've got that spread out, is we'll take some sesame seeds and we'll just sprinkle those sesame seeds there you go, right on the rice, just like that. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the nori, we're going to lift it up, we're just going to flip it over right on top of the sushi rolling mat, which is covered with, um, with a Ziploc plastic bag. About a third of the way, we're going to put some wasabi sauce. It's like a wasabi mayonnaise. And we're going to place on top of that some baby bok choy, which is a type of a Chinese cabbage. And then we have some pressed fish or fake crab meat. There we go which is just like that and then what we'll do is we'll paint this with the water now here's what we're going to do is we're going to take one edge of this mat and we're going to fold it like that now the thing about these California rolls is these were actually developed because there were Americans that did not like the texture of the seaweed so an enterprising chef in California figured out that if we rolled it inside out, then the seaweed, the nori, would be on the inside. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a knife and I'm going to cut it first in half, just like that. Then I fold it in half, wetting the knife again. I'll cut those both in half again. And one more time. And one more time. So each roll makes eight pieces of sushi. There we go, just like that. And you can fill these with, um, as, as we did, or you could replace it with the filling with um, tuna, or you could do it with um, smoked salmon is very good. And so there you have it, the California roll. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.